всем привет! С вами Андрей Сынко. Это новый выпуск «Съедобный бизнес». И сегодня у нас интересное видео. В Дубае есть одна проблема. Я вот живу здесь уже 4 года. И проблема заключается в том, что я не могу найти нигде хороший вкусный хлеб. Буквально случайно я узнал, что ребята из Германии открыли свою мюнхенскую пекарню. И сегодня мы направляемся именно к ним. Увидим, как они готовят хлеб по настоящим правильным мюнхенским традициям. Не переключайтесь. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Munich Finest Bakery. Um, we have opened in the Ramla Superstore in DIP just recently a bakery. It's our artesian bakery. We are baking every day fresh. We are not using any kind of artificial dough improvers and we are trying to keep everything as fresh as possible. Um, this is for one of our best selling products. These are our pretzels which we have uh, from our master baker. Uh, he is a true German um, baking expert. He is world champion, uh, German championships, and he won a couple of European championships. And he is the true master of Britzen, and you will not find better Britzen in whole Dubai. I'm in Dubai now since more than 15 years, and in these 15 years, I was always searching for a, a real bakery which is providing quite a good source of bread. And after around 13 years, I was a little bit disappointed by what's getting supplied in Dubai. And I met one of my best friends in Munich who has a bakery and I built his bakery about 25 years ago. So we was talking about the subject and said, yeah, let's open a bakery in Dubai. And through lucky circumstances, around a year later, We opened our uh, doors in uh, Munich Finest Bakery in Ramla Superstore in uh, DIP1. Okay, this is our bachelor bread bag. And there you get from five different bread, um, you're getting always two slices, which is uh, Dinkelberger, um, which is a spelt bread, a whole 100% spelt bread. Then we have a multigrain, then we have a rye bread, we have our famous farmer bread and we have a white bread. So you have from each two slices, very easy, put just in the toaster and fresh it up. find our pastries, our croissants, our cinnamon rolls, our danish, everything is handmade. All our doughs, not only the pastry doughs, all our doughs have a dough resting time of at least 24 hours. So it helps to have a, a very healthy and a very easy to digest bread and it's really delicious, soft and tender. In addition to this, we have here our cake section, which is All cakes are handmade and all cakes are made only of the best ingredients that are available in Dubai. These are our muffins, for example, blueberry muffin, chocolate muffin. We have uh, exclusive uh, right to sell Dalmayer beans, which is also our uh, preferred coffee supplier. This is our front staff, uh, Janine, Elfie and Isa, and they are always at the service to help all our customers. You can try everything. 
from A to Z, all the breads, all the Danish, whatever you want to try, come and try. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now let's go to the bakery and see where we are doing our stuff. Okay. Welcome. Okay, this is the preparation of a crusotto. This is Jenny's our uh, croissant spe specialist. He is mixing now the he is mixing now the dough for our croissants. And one of the very well very well kept secrets secrets is we are using ice water. So now it's no anymore a secret. It's not anymore. You know the ice water keeps the dough temperature very low and it makes it um, how it's called um, a slow reacting dough and this is what's important for having a good a good lasting uh, croissant quality so miss Isa pastry pastry so miss Isa Isa is right now preparing our marble cakes so we have you know all our competitors they are using margarine for their cakes we are using just butter because we feel if you do a, a marble cake with butter it has much more flavor and it's more softer and it's more moisture and it's really a really delight and she's our even Google Hoop expert In the unlikely event we cannot sell all our goods, we are, for example, the, um, the babka from yesterday, we are giving away for donations. So, for example, one of our partners where we are putting uh, our bread is Tarum Charity Foundation, which is an Arab foundation. And as well, we are uh, doing this for some uh, churches in the Chebelali uh, church area and this is how we are contributing and avoiding any kind of wastage the most important message is we are selling only fresh products we are selling only fresh breads not one of our breads is from the day before everything is made just on the day and will be sold only on this particular day anything what is a day old goes in charity As you see all our breads we are baking every day fresh we are not selling old bread we are just selling fresh bread and this by the way is one of our um, souvenirs from Germany from our wheat supplier it's an organic wheat supplier and we brought some yeah some real wheat to the side okay and yeah please be, feel free contact us anytime when you are um, 
when you wish to get in contact with us, my email ID is Peter or you will put it. Thank you. So just feel free, contact us anytime. Uh, okay, Peter, thanks a lot for this uh, beautiful journey on your bakery. Uh, I think that's the uh, right time uh, for tasting. Uh, well, you're welcome, Andrew. <laughs> you're welcome. See, this is one of our new products, which is called Ciabattini. Um, it's it's like a, a ciabatta, a small ciabatta. Exactly, eh? but it's thinner and it gives him a more crusty approach, you know? You hear oh. this? And you see, Guys, it's, outside, hear? it's outside crusty and inside fluffy. And this one is, for example, try it yourself. This is one which is with onion. Oh. You see how this crunches? And wow. the nice? Yeah. You like it? Yes. Come, give me five. I will try. <laughs> oh, welcome, Abibi. Oops. It's nice. Mm. And we have developed a dip for it, a spicy dip and um, a herb dip. But I need to say, I'm not sure where it is. But I will take care, <laughs> you will get the try. Wait. There, there, is the, there is the trials. Uh, so this is a bit spicy, I need to tell you. And this is a, yeah, just pour it in and try it. Mm. Thank you. I like it. If you like it, I like it. Yeah. You know what is missing in, uh, in Dubai fields? That we cannot accomplish with a pint of beer here. No, we could. <laughs> Alcohol free beer. <laughs> but, but we are working on it, okay? Okay, may, may we try uh, some this kind of bread? Yes, okay. Uh, give me a second, I will bring you some. Jan Janine, uh, kindly cut me from the Tinkelberger. Uh, the Dinkelberger is our um, spelt bread. It's a 100% spelt. It's not only the grains from the spelt, it's also the flour from the spelt. And it's very difficult to get all the time. Wow. Because you have only um, very limited uh, suppliers. And you know when the guys from the supplying are saying, oh sorry, um, the flour is at the moment not available. You cannot bake bread without flour. Yeah, true. But by the way, where, is, uh, uh, where are comes the all ingredients from? Um, I would say about 95% of our ingredients comes from Germany and around 5% comes from Austria. And yeah, we have two or three specialized suppliers. They are importing for us our particular required flowers. So we are not going for the... Um, widely arrangeable uh, flowers, so we are selecting our flowers in Germany. We have a couple of mills we are working with and we are relaying to them because this is also the experience of our head baker and he said if you want to have a, a continuous good quality on bread you need to relay on a, a good quality source of flour and this is what we are doing. So we are sourcing our flowers in Germany and we have two suppliers there exclusively uh, importing this for us. So now you see some of our best-selling products, our Brezen and Brezen pro uh, products, Brezen stick, Brezen bagel, it's a kind of uh, Brezen sop. And there you can see what is uh, important on a Brezen. Um, some, the Austrians and the Swabanians, they are maybe cutting the Brezen. And then you have a kind of defined uh, opening on the Brezen. Mm -hmm. This is used when the Brezen has not enough power to break through the crust that ims itself. So if you look at this, you see this is where the, the, the dough has the power and breaks up and makes the, the Brezen really crunchy and nice. And this is, for example, also a very nice product. This is called a Brezen Croissant or a Brezen Croissant Triangle. This is the Croissant with uh, seeds like sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds and this is a triangle and it's a um, croissant dough and it's treated like a britzen and uh -huh. then you can cut it and can make sandwiches for example what comes really nice is salmon a smoked salmon on it it's really delicious and a little bit of cream cheese this is really wow it comes really <laughs> like this so the bread itself it's salty as well like yes so all uh, savory all are savory Okay, may we try? Yeah, whatever you want to try. Britzen stick, perfect. Soft, nice. Oh. And smell on it, you will see there is a little bit of uh, cutaway inside. Yeah, I can see it's it. Good for, it's good for the digestion. 
and it calms down the stomach. Mm -hmm. So this is why we are putting a little bit of uh, caraway in it. What, uh, very what gives the uh, uh, brown color? Uh, it's called lauge. Um, it's um, it's a special it's a special uh, ingredients where you are um, sticking the pretzel in it, and this makes the bread brown. Okay, I see. It's called in Germany. I cannot tell you what's the English word for it, but we, everybody knows it. Lauge. I see. Okay. Okay, guys. I don't know what about you, but myself, I found uh, uh, my treasure, my place where. I will order the bread. This is actually what I was looking for uh, within four years, uh, four and a half years living in Dubai. Uh, Peter, really thanks a lot. I appreciate that you uh, put such much uh, efforts uh, to open uh, this kind of uh, bakery in Dubai. And uh, now all people uh, can be supplied with uh, uh, fresh organic bread in Dubai. Thanks a lot. Andrew, thank you. Hit like to Peter, make a comment and uh, we will leave a link uh, to the bakery website and as well uh, to his personal email where you can apply for any cooperation. See you next time guys, bye. Thank you.